I've always wanted to, to, to write about Waterloo. I wrote a novel about it, and the strange thing when I wrote the novel, Sharp's Waterloo, which is, oh gosh, 15, 20 years ago, the story of the battle took over from, from the plot. There's a sort of vestige of Sharp's plot left in it, but really it's the story of the battle, because above everything else, Waterloo is a story, and it's a great story. It's a story of three armies fighting three battles over four days, and what's most extraordinary about it is that it, right up until the last second, till 7.30, 8 o'clock on the Sunday night of June the 18th, you can't tell who's going to win. You have the embattled British up on, on the ridge. Some regiments have taken over 50% casualties. The French, who have battered themselves again and again and again against that ridge. And meanwhile, coming from their right, the Prussian army, which moves in at the last minute. It is, as I say, a wonderful story. I've enjoyed telling it in, in a non-fiction form, because I could tell it through the eyes of the men and the women who were there. And I hope that you, too, find it as exciting a story as I do. Thank you. Thank you.